Son of a... Alright, uh, sorry about uh, the accident, little, little accident on the intro, uh, but it was kind of funny. So, um, this is the turn of the American Limber, no comparison with another one, this is the only one I have, and uh, this is the only one, uh, all the ways uh, you could uh, understand it, the only one in the United States in the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Ohio, USA. And this is the only one model kit you will see on YouTube. I searched it, but I found nothing. In any other brand, Airfix, um, Revell, uh, Testors, nothing. I found uh, just uh, the real aircraft at the museum with this same scheme, yellow uh, wings, yellow tail, and uh, this uh, kind of uh, dark grey or dark green uh, fuselage. The eagle, the easy, this eagle uh, on the fuselage. So, um, this is the Golden Age biplanes in 148th model kit, model réduit liaison. Equitivian in French. Yes, uh, skill level number two, it's uh, intermediate uh, skill level. I think it's because of the uh, rigging, uh, rigging wires or bracing wires, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's check at the side uh, the features of featuring authentic vehicles, highly detailed plastic parts, detailed pilot figure. Uh, it is not describing the display stand and or the rigging wire um, as uh, items on this kit. So I think I, ha I have to, to get uh, additional uh, rigging strings or uh, bracing wires for that. This is another view of the biplane. I really love how it looks like. It is already built by a professional modeler. It's so nice with a back uh, with a white background. Okay, they insist in 148 scale. The part code, uh, Lindbergh logo, um, skill level number two. Uh, well, well, they are describing the first first level is easy or least difficult to level 3 most difficult. This is an intermediate level. This is uh, important. The kit number is uh, 72542. A little story uh, of the aircraft, the Curtis B6E Hawk. Um, it is for the uh, pre-war or, or maybe not pre-war not. This is an uh, interwar a biplane, but it, it is now looking like an, uh, for the air shows or something like that. Well, uh, it is made in the USA, copyright 1993 is the year of manufacturing it by Kraft House Corporation. All rights reserved, trademark registered in USA and foreign countries. The um, Building instructions are in English, in German, in French, in Spanish, and in some um, Asian language. Um, that's it. I, uh, it says uh, keep this box for future references, just like I am doing right now. Craft House Corporation, Toledo, Ohio, 4360. Seven. Nothing at the back. This is a strong, strong box. It's so nice for shipping without any problem. Let's check the contents. So what a surprise! Yellow plastic parts. That's so nice. White. Um, 
display stand original from. This is a medium size for the display stand. And uh, the manual or building instructions and the lovely decals for this aircraft. I really love this scheme. Let's check the building instructions as always and uh, read some important uh, information. It's got 35 pieces plus 3 pieces for the display stand and decals. The kit number, as I told you, 72542. Dimensions of the Curtis P6E Hawk. Length 14.33 centimeters, wingspan 20 centimeters, and height 5.66 centimeters. Some uh, instructions, some uh, read the important read this first in the, before assembling the aircraft. Okay, each plastic part is identified by a number, as always, uh, test fit each part in place before cementing use cement recommended for polystyrene this is the the, the plastic etc etc this is in spanish um, uh, in some um, asian language well that's uh, previous information let's check building instruction in separated steps so illustrated so nice uh, step number one, prepare the fuselage halves, the pilot seat, the pilot, uh, the tail wheel, and the um, oil cooler, place calling the decals on now. Well, they are recommending uh, the place that first I will show you the decals later. The propeller with, with three blades, uh, what I don't like, it is not using a shaft, a propeller shaft or holder in order to spin it. I think it, it could be a fixed uh, propeller. Uh, maybe I have to, to add a kind of uh, shaft or, yes, a receiver for this uh, propeller. If not, it should be fixed, not for spinning. Well, uh, step number two, um, as you see, the upper wing is uh, made for uh, half of halves, and not solid mold, and uh, the lower wings the same way. Okay, remember that the lower wings are uh, shorter than the upper wing. So the wingspan I referred for the 20 centimeters is just because of the uh, upper wing. Uh, let's check the landing gear strut, the landing gear uh, fair, fairing, uh, the wheels, the main strut. Even the other side. Okay, um, general assembling. Uh, from the, for the entire aircraft, uh, stabilizer struts, stabilizer with uh, ailerons, uh, lower wings, um, and the rest of the assembling with the uh, upper wing, all the struts, remaining struts, the radio antennas for the wings and for the tail. So it is so easy to build because it's got only 35 pieces. Okay, they are not showing how it looks like with a display stand, but you know how it looks like. Okay, the rigging, rigging information, how to connect everything uh, with the antennas, and etc. Let's check the marking. It is only one. Uh, on the model kit from the US, uh, US Army. I really love this scheme. It is so sporty to me. It looks so sporty for air shows or anything like that. This is, uh, I'm sorry, these are uh, for the painting list. A yellow olive drop green for the fuselage. 
the black for the wheels, etc., or the, the front of the fuselage. Red, blue, white, and silver. Perfect. That's about the building instructions. Let's check the interesting and so nice decals. This part is for the fuselage, this is for the uh, landing gear uh, fairings, this is for the front of the fuselage, for the lower wing, the upper wing, and the numbers for the tail. And these parts are for the blades, or the propeller blades. I really love this. This is all complete. I think it, they are uh, with uh, high quality. Uh, the white color is so uh, white, not yellowed. Uh, no code at the back of these uh, water stickers or decals. Let's check this so different color. Not white, not green, not in green, only in yellow. That's so interesting. Uh, the fuselage have is so simple with uh, some um, um, raised panel, panel lines, as you detect it. Um, let's check some feeding. Uh, oh, no references. Oh yes, yes, it's got references uh, for pinning it, pinning them, sorry. Uh, nice fitting, typical from Lindbergh, so nice. I am not giving any complaint uh, info about it, that's so, I really like it, no problem. What about the big yellow? I think it's not necessary uh, to paint it. Uh, I will polish it because I'm going to expose it or show it or display it like uh, for a museum uh, finishing. So shiny, so neat, so clean, no weathering, etc. Okay, I will polish uh, this uh, yellow part especially for the wings, uh, two halves for the upper wing, two halves for the lower wing, uh, let me check the right size, the right uh, side, sorry, it should be this one, they got the, some holes for the rigging system, alright, that's for the, about the wings, this is the uh, horizontal stabilizer with the uh, Ailerons, no movable, it is fixed. Uh, anyway, that's um, the tail or the vertical fin with the antenna incorporated. Not uh, you don't have to glue it, that's already uh, fixed. Let's check more parts still uh, on the original sprue, the landing gear uh, fairing. This is the other part, nothing is missing. Missing. The strut, so thin, so delicate, we have to be so careful with it. The pilot, the seat, the landing gear struts, the wheels. Um, what else? That's it. What, what we got, got in here in this uh, little box? More additional, as you see, more additional struts and antennas and so important okay get out of here buddy the cockpit glass or the transclear windscreen or windshield so important to have it that's uh, uh, stabilizer struts I will keep it keep them uh, in this uh, uh, security box. That's the name I'm giving it. Radio antenna. Radio. Uh, sorry. Radio. Radio wing antenna. Number 30. Stabilizer struts. Number 32. And uh, 
uh, cockpit glass at 36. Well, I think this is enough for this aircraft. The Curtis B6E, already detailed, already described on this YouTube review. Well, everyone, thank you very much for uh, your attention and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me likes, uh, comment, share it and uh, um, stay tuned please for the next reviews. Bye-bye!